singer Jeremy Camp knew he found her. About four and a half years ago, I met this woman named Melissa, and she was uh, an amazing woman of God. And she just blew me away by her heart for the Lord. Even the way Melissa worshiped blew Jeremy away. I kind of looked up during worship and I caught a glance of where she was in front of me. And it was amazing because I could tell that she was really worshiping Jesus. She laid aside her distraction of the day and said, God, right now, I'm gonna worship you. you know, her eyes were closed tight, her hands were raised high. So that was my attraction to her. When you would meet Melissa, you would just feel like you had known her forever because she was that kind of person that you were just, you were just attracted to. She was just such a, a sweet, she had just such a sweet spirit about her. In a whirlwind, Jeremy had fallen head over heels. I was convinced at an early time that she was amazing, that she was the one for me. And uh, I perceived a, I went on to tell her that, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm gonna love with you. But Jeremy's speedy confession left Melissa reeling. So we had a little time of, you know, this isn't gonna work out. You know, I was kind of rushing into stuff. Well, months went by and I was kind of over it a little bit. I thought it was kind of over and, and things were put to, to rest. Dejected, Jeremy eventually moved on. But then he received a heart-wrenching phone call. A friend called me and said, Melissa's in the hospital. Um, she has cancer. You might want to go visit her. As I walked in, the first thing she said to me was, you know, Jeremy, if I were to die from this cancer, but one person were to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, it'd be all worth it. And uh, I was so humbled by that statement, and that is what has, it still sticks with me today. Moved by Melissa's overwhelming strength, Jeremy's love was rekindled. Eventually, I just knew that, you know, through some situations, I just knew that she was uh, the one for me, and, and she felt the same way. And there's kind of a connection where, you know, it was something where God had always been leading, but not the right time, and this is the right time. And I knew that I loved her, and we got engaged. During our engagement, she lost all of her hair, you know, but she would just, she was, her joy was so amazing that it was like she lit up, you know, because she was just so passionate about the Lord. And, you know, she, she was bald, and she used to wear little hats, and all the cute little hats and bandanas and stuff, but she just radiated with God's love. The glowing joy emanating from Melissa through sickness brought the newly engaged couple hope. As wedding plans were made, what was now their struggle was temporarily forgotten. As I stand here in your presence Of your beauty I will always stand in awe But wedding bell bliss soon faded when doctors discovered cause for immediate grave concern. At the end of the honeymoon, we had to get some tests done because some complications were coming back. The results were devastating. Melissa had only weeks to live. Savoring their final days together, the newlyweds retreated into privacy, spending time with their closest friends. I just remember going to their apartment. Melissa was really sick. She was at a point where she really was just not feeling well. She would often want to, she asked us if we would get our guitars. So we didn't waste one second and uh, just got our guitars out and started singing some songs and the friends and family were there and we all joined in and it was just the greatest time. As I opened my eyes, I saw Melissa and she had, with all the strength that she could muster, she had her little, you know, skinny hand at that point. I mean, her arm was getting really weak, but she was able to raise it up to the sky and, and worship God. And I, when I saw that, for just that moment, I just, it just took over me. I realized, man, there is a, a, a girl who, is, who has no strength left physically, who is not doing well at all, but she still sees God as one who is worthy to be worshipped. Though strong of faith and will, the cancer worsened, forcing Melissa into the hospital. She had to be there to be constantly uh, medicine being dripped into her IVs, you know, just to have that pain being taken away. After only five months of marriage, Melissa lost her battle with cancer, and Jeremy lost his soulmate.
inside my heart. I just knew that no matter what, that, that I can just trust that God knew what he was doing. And even though I still had my questions and still didn't, had confusions and different things I battled with, I still knew that God was good. We were actually hanging out at his apartment um, after just a few days after Melissa uh, passed away. I was like, Jeremy, I'm, I'm just thinking of this chorus. And I just have the words, and what do you think? And I was just singing to him, you know, the, this the song, Take my life, take my mind, take my soul. Although he had really, it wasn't like he was in this happiest moment. It was just a hard day. It was a, it was just a, a very hard day. I'm playing the chorus, and Jeremy, with this voice that's just bigger than life, just starts singing, Take my life, just, you know, the way you would hear on the CD. So take my life, we'll take my mind. During that time, and I share this a lot, but God taught me about worship in the midst of hard times because I, He spoke to my heart right when she went to be with the Lord and, and He said, you know, I want you to stand up and worship me. And I remember just arguing and saying, how can I do that? And I remember I just stood up and I raised up my hand and just started worshiping Jesus. And I was like, you know what, God, this is, this is nowhere else I can be or nowhere else I can turn. He has a drive. Now he has a passion. I mean, it's, you can't, it's unmistakable, you know, Jeremy has this uh, drive, but how did it come to that point? It wasn't an easy road, but that hard road gave him even more of a passion because the Bible says that where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And Jeremy's heart definitely was shifted from the earth to heaven, I mean, in, in an instant. And so these songs in his life now and his ministry comes from that. You can look back and in my life and you know I can tell him that this is what God has done, this is what I've been through, and this is what he's taken me through and his hand has been on me the whole time and so he's not going to let me go through anything that's not you know according to his purpose.